Hello, and thank you for using Anything World. My name is Jay Santos, and I'm the Developer Relations Manager here at Anything World. And in this video, I'll show you how to set up Anything World in your Unity project. If you prefer, you can also find these instructions in our Unity Quick Start document. And you can find the link to the document in this video's description. So let's get started. Once you've imported the package from the Asset Store, go to the Package Manager by clicking on Window, Package Manager, then select the Unity Registry and search for the Editor Coroutines. In my case, I already have this package installed in my project. If you don't, just install it. Once this package is installed, let's look for the Universal Rendering Pipeline and click Install. And now, search for the Newtonsoft JSON package. If the package doesn't show up in the search like in my project, just click the plus button, select Add Package from Git URL, and use this address. Then click Add. Once that's installed, we can close the Package Manager window. Our package already contains a pre-built Universal Render Pipeline asset. To set it up, click on Edit, then Project Settings, then select the Graphics section, and under the Scriptable Render Pipeline settings, select the Universal Render Pipeline asset that is available, double-click on it, and click Continue. Finally, Let's add the shaders provided by the Anything World package in the Always Include Shaders list. Increase the size of the list by 4, so in my case I have 6, I'm going to increase it to 10. Then, at the new elements, add the following shaders. Use the search tool to make it easier to find them. The standard metallic shader the standard specular shader, the standard transparent metallic shader, and finally, the standard transparent specular shader. And that's it. You are ready to start using Anything World in your project by clicking on Anything World and then Anything Browser. If you've already created your account with Anything World, you can log in on this window or you can click on sign up and create your account. Since I already have my account, I'm gonna log in with my credentials. And my password. I'm gonna click on login. And then I have access to the browser and all the models uh, within it. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use these models within your projects. In the meantime, make sure to follow us on Twitter and join our amazing community of developers on Discord. When you join, drop by and say hello and show us what you're doing, what amazing stuff you are creating and we'll continue to create using Anything World. You can find the links both for our Twitter account and our Discord server in the video description. Thank you and I see you on the next video.